Oh my god, that was adorable and I got it on film. This is why we can't have nice things. This box right here. We're about to start ringing the alarm just as I was about to start recording. Hey guys, welcome back to Idiot Nest Productions. I'm Socialist Penguin, and today we're doing a, another vlog, but this one's a little bit different, of course, because all my vlogs are. Um, this one's gonna be an unboxing. So, uh, the last couple days, I've been kinda going around on my spare time, of which there's a lot more now that I don't work for my old company. And, uh, what I did was just kinda like, look around for trinkets, because I just put up a bookshelf next to my recording, rig, which I'll show all set up with what I'm about to unbox uh, at the end of the video. And I just wanted to have a bunch of crap on top of it that's all geeky and shit. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I've got three objects, one of which is already unbagged because I've been using it for about a week. Um, but the one of the boxes has two or three objects in it, I think. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, uh, anyone who knows me, and anyone who's watched my channel at all, knows how incredibly stoked I was for Fallout 4. And when they released the game, uh, I had a friend of mine come to work and tell me, oh hey, they sell like trinkets and stuff for Fallout 4. So I was like, I've, I've gotta go. And I went and checked out EB Games, uh, which is essentially GameStop in Canada, and they had like uh, Funko Pop filters, uh, or Pop characters, and like, bobbleheads and action figures and stuff for Fallout, so I went and bought some. The first thing I bought is this, uh, this lanyard, if you can see it there. It's, uh, it's Fallout, obviously, it says Fallout there, and it's got the little pip, or the little vault boy. So that's pretty cool, I've been walking around with that for a while, it replaced my old Zelda one that got, uh, got mangled, so yeah. That's that. The second object is the Fallout uh, Vault Boy vinyl figure from Funko, obviously, because they do all the cool geek toy shit. And uh, I've always wanted a bobblehead because I've collected every bobblehead in all three of the games. And uh, I didn't know where to get them, so when they released these, it was easy. It, I don't think it's actually a bobblehead, but I guess we'll see when we open it up. So I haven't opened it at all, even though it's been sitting on my shelf for the last like week, and it's just been bugging me because I really want to have it open. Uh, it looks oh cool. So when you open the lid, the first thing is the flaps say stuff. So that one, I don't know if you can see it there, but you get plus one intelligence for opening the box, and then on the other side revolutionizing safety for a uh, for an uncertain future so that's pretty cool I like that kind of give the box a little bit of lore pull this guy out the box is pretty hefty but I don't know if that's like the wrapping or the vault boy himself it's 15 bucks That's a cool little background thing to put behind them when I've opened them. I want to keep that box. Yeah. All right. So, actually, it's got a decent amount of heft to them, considering the detailing. Pretty good. I mean, as good as you could want from a, a little replica statuette. That's pretty cool. Um, 
It says Vault Tech on the bottom. Uh, turn him around, he's got the 111 sweater on. So yeah, there's him, which is pretty cool. And then, <clears throat> there's this beast. This is a Funko Mystery Box, and uh, it says it's only available at GameStop, but because I live in Canada, that means GameStop is, uh, is EB Games. So this was like a $25 thing, and it's got two or three things in it, and I'm assuming they're like the they're action figures and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I figure I'll open this up, and then whatever is in the box uh, will go up on my shelf if I like it, and if not, I'll either give the stuff in it away, or uh, give it as gifts or something. We'll see. So yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot more stuff than I thought there would be. Uh, the little like airbags that come and stuff. I don't want animals to die from that shit. All right, so the first guy in here is a little uh, keychain Jason Voorhees. That's pretty cool. I, I, uh, I used to watch Friday the 13th with my mother when I was a kid. Which sounds really weird now that I think about it. But yeah, so it's a little like pocket pop keychain thing. And he's, uh, he's got a little like machete in there with him. Maybe I'll open all these up to get a closer look at them when I've pulled everything. I got the Blackest Night Superman pop figurine, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Blackest Night, I guess, is the DT or DC um, Zombies uh, series. Got a little Batman pin. <laughs> a little uh, Walter White cooking crystal meth Breaking Bad figure. Super tiny. He comes with a little like gas mask there. And then John Kreese from The Karate Kid. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Uh, another movie that I used to watch, or another series of movies, I guess, that I used to watch a ton as a kid with my mom. So yeah, that's awesome. There's actually a decent amount of stuff in these boxes for 25 bucks. So I might actually go out today and buy another one because, yeah. One sec, I gotta go stop my cat from destroying stuff. Get out of here, baby. He wants to play with my toys. <laughs> go, baby. Go. But yeah, so I'll probably go pick up another one of those. These are really cool. Um, I don't know that I'll open these two like action figures because it actually says like adult collectible, not a toy. But we'll see. And I'm back. Uh, the lighting has changed in the room because I actually decided that yes, I was gonna go buy another one of these boxes because for 25 to 28 bucks, like this, the, the little keychain I checked was like 12 bucks at EB Games. The pop filters are, or the, I say that every time. The pop characters that you get, like the, the full size pop guys, apparently are rare. Um, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I, Already opened the sticker on this one without thinking before I started the camera up. All right, let's get to this. Uh -huh. Oh, you're kidding me. So, rare by ass, because I just got the second Blackest Light Superman. Uh, but whatever, I'm sure I could. I'll, I'll give that away as a gift or like sell it or something. More bags. Well, this one's already broken. So I got the keychain. It's Chucky. 
to keep Chucky though, so I'm not afraid of him. Little bastard. Um, one of the action figures is Kane uh, with a chest burster coming out of him. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then there's, well, that kind of sucks. Um, the one in this one, like the glue, came undone. But whatever. It's from Fifth Element and it's Diva Plava Plavalaguna. Because I already have enough trouble speaking. And then the pin I got was Loki. So yeah, kind of bummed that the one thing I got that was the same in both boxes was the full size pop figurine. But uh, oh well, say what that's what happens with when you buy random boxes. Um, I'm definitely gonna start collecting these guys in the future though, cause son of a... <laughs> definitely gonna start collecting these guys in the future because I saw like, there's like 150 of them or something at EB Games and uh, there's a lot of stuff that I watch and play like divided between all of them, so yeah. Uh, I guess that's my first unboxing video on the channel. Fuck, fuck you, Blackest Night Superman. All right, guys, I'm going to pan up my bookshelf and then across all of my geek crap so you guys can see just how obsessive my life is becoming. So yeah, you got all my games and a couple DVDs and stuff. You can see Doctor Who, Firefly, Torchwood. Come up here, more games. And then when you come up to this like third shelf, you get into the geeky crap. So there's a little Perler Master Ball that Little Red made me way back, and as well as a Piplup that I made. And there's a TARDIS on the other side. And there's the action figures that I just got from those mystery boxes. Some books and paper for writing scripts. And the TARDIS! Right in front of some Pokemon books, of course. You come up here. There's a, there's actually two different sonic screwdrivers. They're just from like the build your own snap to the other side. You got some chicken pox. You got some tyrantrum, or tyrant. Emolga. Liwa from Bionicle, because I used to love that series as a kid and they just started re-releasing the toys. The, uh, the pins, my little Keychains. You got the Vault Boy. My like posing statue and his pet. Because we all gotta have a guinea pig like creature in this apartment. There's um, a minion who talks for McDonald's. And then my double Blackest Night Superman. Thanks, boxes. Anyway. That's it for this unboxing and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, a comment, you know, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, talk to you later.